With this latest release, we're excited to take the name normalization process to the next level with guided name normalization. In Chronicle 2.2, we'll help speed up the name normalization process so you can get back to privilege log review or log construction as soon as possible. Guided normalization is a new feature that helps you normalize large groups of names all at once. After running the name normalization analysis, you will be taken to the guided normalizations page. From here, there are two ways we can help guide and speed up your normalization workflow. First, by identifying similar names. The left-hand table displays all the original values determined to be similar. These values are determined by various algorithms, data patterns, and the exactness slider setting that can be adjusted above the table. The second way is by proposing the best name to use. In the right-hand table on the Guided Normalizations page, Chronicle displays the values the system suggests as the normalized name and provides all the similar original values. You can click on any of these to change the normalized value without manually typing it in. Most of the time, you'll be able to quickly review these suggestions and be one click away from your next group of similar items. But we know you might want to make slight modifications, so you can filter or specify similar names that should be normalized, see suggestions for the normalized name, modify the exactness of the suggestions on the fly, skip a name, and leave and come back at any time picking up where you left off. You may not always know how data is delimited, so now you can let Chronicle figure it out for you with a new auto-detect delimiter option when creating a name normalization project. We've also made a few updates to priv logs. The privilege log template has been updated with new comparators enabling the creation of dynamic modular columns. The new comparators contains any and doesn't contain any, allow for partially matching information within text fields, partial coding, or specific objects in object fields. For specifics on the fields that can be used with the new comparators, check out the user guide link in the video description. A new option has been added to the Chronicle Settings tab to customize the delimiter between each value when displaying a multiple choice or multiple object field in a privilege log. The setting is unique to the workspace, allowing for different delimiters. Privilege log filtering has been expanded to include options for filtering on multiple choice, single object, and multiple object fields. This can be especially useful for viewing and exporting subsets of a privilege log when looking for specific users or privilege types. To see the full release notes and the updated Chronicle user guide, please check the links in the video description. If you have any questions, please navigate to support.malili.com or if you're ready to upgrade, email us at support.malili.com.